Now let's add a terrain for our project. So I'm gonna go here to the basement and I'm gonna bring a DWG file that I have here on the exercise file called terrain contours. So I'm gonna just drag and drop in here. Archicad is gonna ask what was the unit that we use when we did this drawing. It was millimeters. And here we have our 2D drawings with the contours. I know that this was the zero, zero point, so I'm gonna drag it to the zero, zero point of our project as well. And then I'm gonna explode this into our current view. I don't want to keep the original and make sure you choose here for layers, use drawings layers instead of importing all the layers from the DWG. Now I don't have the original anymore, but I do have all the lines here grouped together. Notice that this is a very dense group of lines which will generate a mesh with a lot of polygons, which is not a good thing because it might make our drawing heavy. Ideally, we would redraw this using the SP line tool, trying to match as much as possible those existing contours, and this would generate a lighter model. But then the video would become too long, so I'm just gonna go ahead and use the existing points here. So let's draw our mesh. I'm gonna open here the design tools, and then select the mesh tools. We have some different methods for adding the mesh. I wanna add a rectangular, so I'm gonna select the first and the second point of this mesh. I know the mesh came in front of the polyline, so I'm gonna right click here, display order, and then send this mesh to back. Doesn't seem to have worked, so let's do it again. Send it to back. Ah, there we go, now it worked. So if we go to the 3D window, we should see our mesh there as well. Let's select this mesh and check the settings for it. Go to this settings dialog. And here we can see that the mesh is placed 200 millimeters below the basement level. It has a height of one meter. If I press OK here, and zoom out a little bit more, you're gonna see that this one meter correspond to this height of the mesh around. So let's go back to the settings. You can choose to have this solid slab or with an open bottom or just the top surface here. Notice that we have as a default here an override for the top surface to be a grass green and that's why we see this green in here. So let's press OK. You'll see that the slab disappeared. Now we have only the top mesh. Now it's time to add the contours. I'm gonna go back to the floor plan and to do that, all you have to do is follow those steps. Select the mesh. Make sure you have the mesh tool also active. Hold the space key so you have this magic wand and then click on the contour. Make sure you choose the fit to use ridges option and then press OK. Now that polyline is part of our mesh. So I'm gonna do the same with all the other contours. Now we can delete the original DWG. I don't need it anymore and let's start adding some height. So we select the mesh, select any of those contours, click again in any of the points, and then choose here on the pad palette, the Z option, which is to give it a height. So I'm gonna add a one meter height for this first column and make sure you select this apply to all option. So like this, all the points on this curve will be one meter height. So I'm gonna press okay. And if we look in the 3D again, you will see that that one line is already raised by one meter. So I'm gonna go back to the floor plan and do the same with all the other contours. So this will be two meters, this will be three meters, and so on. Now, if you go to the 3D, it's looking better, but as you can see here, the corners are still on their original height. So I can select them here on the 3D and then make sure I have the Z option on and we can adjust those points to other point next to it. Again, notice how many polygons I have. It's not ideal. This might become quite heavy in your computer. So make sure you redraw those contours using the SP line first. Now, one thing I can do is go to the settings of this mesh and then choose all ridges smooth, and this will look a little bit better. Now, if you go back to the floor plan, one way to add a hole here for the house is by selecting the mesh. I'm gonna click in any corner here, cancel the height, and then choose the minus option. And now we can draw a polygon here that we want to remove from the mesh. 
So I'm just going to drag around this area. I also want to remove a little bit more here around, but this can be added later. There's another way to do this hole, which is by using a solid operation, but that's a topic for another video. So let's see again in 3D how this mesh looks. We can also select it here, reposition if you want to, or go back to the settings and change here the height to a better position. So go ahead, give it a try.